Hello everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. Today, I want to show you a really cool AI platform that allows you to use the latest AI models to build web applications for free. Let me introduce you to WebDev Arena. So, WebDev Arena is an AI platform that specialized in using AI to develop web applications. The platform is basically similar to other AI platforms like ChatGPT or Claude, but it's specially designed for one use case, which is to build web apps. Now, what's unique about WebDev Arena is that there is a leaderboard keeping track of which AI models gain the top score based on user's judgment. You can see which models are currently the best ones according to the user's experience, Basically, in Web Dev Arena, you can send in a prompt, and then you'll get two responses of code from two hidden models. Then, you can view the code generated, and you can also preview the results to see which one has a better generation. Then, you can vote for which is better, like the left one or the right one, or mark them as a tie. The platform will take your vote and improve the model's score, allowing it to climb higher in the leaderboards. This platform is fully free to use, and you don't even need an account, which is great to see. So next, I will show you how you can use this platform and how it actually works. Now before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below, and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. To get started, you can simply access the platform at web.lmarena.ai and you will see the chat interface as shown here. On the left, you have a sidebar menu. Let me expand the sidebar to make it clearer here. Okay, this is where you can see the new chat option and the battle option. Both do the same thing, which is to open this chat interface. If you want to access the leaderboard, then definitely click on the leaderboard menu over here. Now, the leaderboard will show you which models are the best at coding according to the platform. Here, we can see that the latest Gemini 2.5 Pro model is at the top, followed by Cloud Opus 4, and then Gemini 2.5 Pro again, and then Cloud 4 Sonnet, which is all kind of great. DeepSeek is a bit below, and there is Quan 2.5, and also Llama 4 over here. Below the leaderboards, there is also some statistics here, such as confidence interval for model strength, average win rate against all other models, and so on. You can take a look at this yourself if you want to, but for now, let's go back to the chat interface, as it's the main feature of interest in Web Dev Arena. Here, you can see that this is the prompt box where you can send the prompt of what you want to generate or anything like that. And you can also use the surprise me option to generate something random, or you can click one of the inspiration prompts down here. So let's try something simple for now. Here I will ask the platform to create a simple to-do app, and then click the submit button. And then you'll see two windows will appear, and the two hidden models will start working on the prompt. After a while, it will start generating the code, you can see them being streamed over here. Generally, the responses are quite fast in this platform, so after just waiting a bit, you'll see code preview as shown here, and it looks nice. The left side is still generating for now, so let's wait a bit. And here we have both results. You can see the preview in the block tab, and the code in the code tab. WebDev Arena uses E2B for the preview here, so let's try the app a bit, add a task over here. Okay, the task is added, now let's add in the other app. The same happens here, uh, so let's mark this one as complete, and now delete, it's working, now on the left side, mark as incomplete, and delete as well. Alright, so both apps are working as expected. Now after the generation, you can still interact with the model to fix or improve any parts of the app. You can also cast your vote whether the left output is better or the right, or if it's a tie or both are equally bad with these buttons. Now before I decide, I want to add another prompt here to change the add button color to green. Click submit and let both models work on the task again. And now the right model finished first again, so let's wait a bit for the left model. Now both are done, so yeah, the add button was changed to green over here. Now let's select the winner of this round. Um, I think the left model is better, so I will click on the corresponding button over here. And now the vote is submitted, 
and we can see the model used for this round. Here we have Google Gold Main. Now Gold Main here is a code name for Google's model that's not yet released. So sometimes you will see models that haven't been announced to the public being used in Web Dev Arena, which is very cool. On the right side, we have OpenAI GPT 4.1 Mini. Now keep in mind that even after you select a winner, you can still continue to interact with both AI models. So for example here, I will ask it to change the app name to Nathan's to-do list and then click submit again, and you can see that both models can still work just fine. And here's the result, now we can see that the name of both apps have been changed. So again, you can open the code used for this app by clicking on the code menu over here. You can copy the code or download it to your computer if you want to. Now in the block view, you can copy the URL for this app to share it with others or open it in a new tab with this button. Next, you can also close this canvas-like interface to open the chat initiated by the platform. Here you can see the previous code generations. You can think of this as some kind of version control where you can go back to previous generations of your code. For example, this one is the second iteration in which we change the add button color to green, as you can see here. And then this is the latest version in which the name is changed. Now, there are some limitations with the web dev arena that you need to be aware of. Since it's not a fully loaded AI builder platform, it doesn't store a history of your previous conversations. So once you close this window, you won't be able to access the chat again. This is to be expected as we can't create an account on this platform. Secondly, the generated code is always a React component because that is the main task performed by the platform so you won't be able to generate code in other libraries or frameworks. Thirdly, there is no version control or integration to popular services like GitHub. Again, this is to be expected as the aim of Web Dev Arena is to get the best performing model for building web applications. It's not meant to enable full stack web applications like Bold or Lovable. But despite these limitations, I would say Web Dev Arena is still an interesting platform and you can use it as many times as you want with no rate limit whatsoever. You can use it to perform some experiments and complete easy tasks for free. And in exchange, you can help the community by voting for the better AI models. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. So overall, that's how you can use Web Dev Arena. It's a great platform where you can have a side-by-side -side comparison for LLM generated code, particularly in web app development. It's completely free to use without any rate limits. And by using it, you're also helping to improve the leaderboard while doing your own work. Now, it still has certain limitations, such as the code generated will always be React components, and you can't really deploy your app or anything like that in here. Once you're finished, all you can do is to download the code and then probably add it to an existing application on your computer, which means you need to know how to set up a React app from scratch. Also, if you're wondering which models the platform has, it actually has access to all top models currently available in the world, and it also has new experimental models like the Google Gold Main that we see in this video. Sometimes you will get the generations from top models like Gemini 2.5 Pro and Flash, Cloud4 Sonnet and Opus, DeepSeek, Mistral, and many more. So you can test both experimental and top models through here as well, although it's always random. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So, what do you think about the web dev arena? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Boat with Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.